Halloween, guys. It is Halloween, and I am a Starbucks barista, and I have my little piggy pug, Jolly. He knows he's a star, and he's going to be a little barista today. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, he's going to be a puppuccino. Oh, puppuccino. So, happy Halloween. Um, Lily is dressed up. She's going to talk in her um, character voice, so we're going to have to guess who it is, and she's going to show quilts at the end, and then you can figure out who it is. Good I didn't know morning. who it was. Good morning, everyone. Lovely to see you all to hear, here today. She's cracking me up. So um, I'm going to show you new stuff from Market. I'll talk a little bit about Market. Um, just we get a lot of questions about what it is. I'll talk a little bit about what it is. And I'm just going to show you some of my favorite stuff, some of the stuff we bought. So Market was last week, and it is only for shop owners and um, you know, maybe bloggers, YouTubers, that kind of thing, and you go and you buy fabric. And um, on, we arrived on Thursday, and then on Friday, there's an event called Schoolhouse, and then Schoolhouse, it's like school. So there's different um, periods, and you go and you can learn about different things. And so I went to a couple of those. Tula Pinks was awesome, and Lily put that on YouTube, and um, she's a great public speaker. I could never do um, I could never be as funny as she was. Um, and so we have a lot of videos that Lily put together and they're all on YouTube already. Uh, make sure to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And um, so that was Friday and it's kind of all day Friday. And then at night they have an event called Sample Spree and you can go and get samples of stuff that's gonna be coming out. I don't do that anymore. I used to, it's a little bit just too much chaos. So I kind of just stopped doing that. I used to stand in line for hours and hours and hours and um, for several years and I kind of just did my time and I think I'm done with that. And then Saturday, the show was Saturday, Sunday and Monday and you go and they have different booths and I had appointments all day um, back to back to back to back. So I really didn't get to walk the show too much. Um, it was a much smaller show but there was, you know, enough people there and it was a lot of fun and I will say from this market, I felt like the collections were really strong and the pattern designers had really strong designs. And that's always great because I've been to plenty of markets where I left uninspired. And this time I thought it was great. So that's that's good news. So let me know if you'll have any questions about Halloween or about market. And then I'm just going to show you all some fabric and talk about some of the things that I have coming up. We did have a few people saying that they should have guessed what you were going to dress up as today. I know, like y'all were like so off. I was like, hello. And then this morning, I wanted to tell the lady who gives me my coffee, I wanted to like walk in with this and just have her laugh, but she's not very funny, so mm -hmm. I don't think she would have liked it. Um, but I did get this big shout out. I don't want to say who because I don't know if he's going to get in trouble at work, but I borrowed this from a live Starbucks worker. I asked the person if I could give credit but I haven't heard back yet so um, this is a real live because we were gonna like make something and I'm like I don't know when I'm gonna have time to make something but this morning one of the baristas had um, she had like a head like a headband and then a cup coming off of it and it was like she had like stuff in it where it looked like a frappuccino or something and a straw and I was like oh my gosh I should have had that but I did do like my hair I will say this is about as dressed up as I get, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to be hip. I'm going to put a bandana in my hair. I'm going to put some big earrings on. I'm going to look like a Starbucks. So this is what you get. This is as much dress up. And, you know, I was so disappointed because I, Kevin gets the kids up and I go and put them in the car and leave. And I said, I'm Starbucks today. And he was like, what? And I go, I have Starbucks here. And he was like, what does that mean? And I was like, I look like a Starbucks barista. And he was like, he just looked at me like, go take the kids to school. Um, but it does. I'm hit. And these are new bandanas that Ruby Star Society came out with, and I got I got some at Market, so oh, I'm trying it out. I, I did think your Starbucks look was spot on. See? Um, and then we did have a question from Blenda Ramirez. She says, "Have you ever uh, kitted the back or knitted the back of a quilt? I'm wondering if it's too difficult." Knitted? No. Yes. No. I don't know if uh, putting all that putting like cotton thread on top of that type of would work. Um, I did, I will say I did buy a backing set this morning. I came in and I'm working on the Sunday best quilt. And on Monday, I'm gonna be out of town tomorrow, which is why we're doing the live stream today. I'm gonna be gone all weekend. 
so I can't sew. But Monday, my goal is to put the Sunday Best to quilt together and the backing so that that can be done. All right, got more questions from Elaine H. What is Quilt Festival part of market? Okay, so Quilt Festival is put together by the same company. The lady who started it um, started it 40 years ago. Her name is Carrie Brinson, or Brinson, I might be saying it wrong, but Carrie Brinson, she started it 40 years ago. And so the first week is Quilt Market, and then the next week, it started last night, is Quilt Festival, and that's where you can go shop, and then Quilt Shops go, and um, it's really fun. I've been lots of times. I really like it. Um, I just, like with my kids, this weekend I'm gonna be a dance, and I'm gonna be a dance mom. It's gonna be great. And I'm going to get a lot of, I don't know what done. <laughs> no, it's really, um, it'll be fun. Um, I'm just a little bit worried about getting there on time. Um, the costume, it's the first time she does her solo. She gets very, um, she's very serious about it. And she gets into this like zone. And so I just have to know like when she's in that zone that I need to just not do anything. And so last night I was like, okay, where's the costume? do you have your music on your phone is the music on my phone like where's the music like do you have all the things have you packed i mean that's really my role i actually like going but like she's in it to like win it like she ain't she's not playing around and so for me i'm like can you just have fun like anyway and if y'all hear that little noise i think it's acorns i guess not acorns it's like something on the roof rain acorns. oh maybe it's raining acorns acorns okay so i'll tell you a story in texas acorns fall in our last house one year we kept hearing all these things and kevin and i thought we were losing our mind and it was acorns falling on our house and the other night when i was at dance because i sit in my car there were acorns falling on my car so i moved my car look oh my at Pinky, he's so good he's been such a good boy i'm gonna take his little hat off because he don't like it um meg Keeney says will the fig tree pumpkin tree will be back in stock the pattern will be back in stock and we are kidding that in May of next year. And I'm actually gonna sew it um, so that I can test the pattern and I can um, have it and have a little quilt for the store, but yes. Sure. Uh, Ray Ann Finch says, hello from California. Will there be a kit or pattern for the applique quilt at market that said, I quilt, what is your superpower? I'm not sure. Uh, well, let, Kate will try to figure out what that is. I don't remember that quilt, do y'all remember? Um, I don't remember that quilt, so I would say no, because I don't remember it, um, but we can definitely find out. Like last, yesterday we got some questions on what was a certain quilt in a booth. We sent it to the person who works at the company, and they were like, oh, it's a free pattern. Here's a link. So we're happy to find any of that stuff for you, um, but there's so much stuff there, and I honestly just go from appointment to appointment to appointment to where I miss a lot of things. And I could have gone a second day, but... Um, my kids had things at the same time and I needed to get home. All right, um, and the person who lent you the apron says you can't say his name. Okay, so Gabriel sent me his apron and he said that if he still had his chalkboard um, name tag, he would have sent it and that would have been awesome. But I'll tell you, Cody made it. Look, okay. it's, um, hold on, it's paper. And we use magnets, like cross stitch magnets. Oh, and we oh, And we printed it off of Etsy. It's so cute. Awesome. Piggy should have had one. Look, Piggy's just chilling. He's a baby. Oh, and a funny comment from Teresa. She says, for a California Starbucks barista, you would need some tattoos. Just oh, yeah, tattoo. Austin, too. But, yeah, I'm not. I can't even, like, go to the doctor much. I can't imagine. Um, I don't do well with pain. I'll tell you a funny story about pain. So the reason I'm... People, okay, so when I got married, you know, I always would like complain because pain medicine doesn't really work for me like it does for most people. Like, for example, you know how people get addicted to pain medicine? Like, that could never work for me because it just doesn't work. Um, I always feel pain, always. And so I just have that, I guess, I just can feel a lot of pain. Let's just say that. So everything bothers me when I go to the doctor. So I'm not like a fan of the doctor. I couldn't, I, there's no way I could do a tattoo because it would hurt too much. But Kevin used to think I was crazy. He used to be like, what? Are, like, he used to just, like, think I was crazy. Because I, I can be a little diva. So um, I was having Christopher, and the spinal didn't work. And he, I told him, I was like, it didn't work. They, the um, anesthesiast was, like, not paying attention. She didn't, 
she thought it worked the doctor thought it worked and they started cutting and i was like oh yeah i can feel all of that and they had to kick kevin out i was out for four hours let me tell you if a spinal doesn't work on you you can feel pain so um i'm not getting a tattoo because i would feel it <laughs> you could get one of those temporary ones yeah i don't know awesome so i'm gonna start showing you some mode of fabric um piggy you want to sit over here sit down Good boy, sit down right there. Sit down. Okay, he's gonna sit where? <laughs> You're not sitting on that pillow. You sit on this pillow. This your pillow. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna start with Moda, and we're starting with March, and um, the reason I'm doing this is because I wanna be able to answer all the questions. We try to include all the kits, all the things we're doing. Um, so, he sat down, he's a good boy. So, what Bonnie and Camille did, which I think is so awesome, is they, Okay, when they started over 10 years ago, their very first collection was divided mother colors, daughter colors. Um, I can't think of the name of it, but I remember it was like browns and greens and it was divided. And they thought that going back to that original concept would be awesome and they have done a great job. So they're, the collection is called At Home and they're calling it Bonnie's House and Camille's House, which I think should be Bonnie's Home and Camille's home because it's at home, but that's me being literal. Um, so all of the pre-cuts are divided by color weight, except our Jolly Bars will be all combined. And um, we have solid half yard bundles to go with the collection that I've already actually put online. And we did that so that we have the solids. So I'm gonna flip through this. The red is the mom's, which is Bonnie. I want to be able to show you. I'm just gonna rip it open because I'll take it home. I can't get it to. I can't get it to. To not. Okay, so we're gonna just. Do you want to zoom in and then I'll just pull these down. So it's thanks. Piggy wants to be in there. He says Piggy. So this is red, and you're gonna see that in these precuts you do have a lot of duplicates because the collection is divided in half, which can be really nice for doing a quilt because then you'll have enough. And I'm actually, this is one of my very favorites. Okay, these are houses and they're super cute. Um, they have little quilt blocks inside of them. Some of them, some of them just have windows. And then of course they have their polka dot. This is a, this is a tiny polka dot, which is they have had in several of their collections. Another house. Oh wait, no, this is not a house. This is a little flower. Piggy, sit down. Piggy's looking at Denise. Denise does not like dogs. And he's like, I'm gonna go see Denise. He's like, what am I doing? He's like, sit down, baby. Stripe. This is really pretty. I think this would be really pretty on a backing. It's like a little mum. There's some flowers. This one is beautiful. One of my favorites from the line. And I think it goes well with, um, Camille's also and this is a white on white it does have a floral so you can see that little floral so it can be directional if you want it to be this is another dot and this also mixes well with Camille's this is a great binding they had this on several of their quilts they had a great booth they weren't there but they did have a great booth so if you want to see all their quilts made up piggy Flowers, more flowers. And so this is very different than what they have done before. This one is kind of like a little knitted stitch. Sit down, sit down. And little flower. So that is Bonnie's. And again, that's May. And then this is Camille's. And hers is the same, except it is navy or blue and green. So, I can't, oh. it's on my knee. Can you go down? Oh yes. Sorry, I can't, I can't move oh, my, see. there we go. So we've got navy, a navy dot. 
And I'm not going to show as much detail in all of these, but Bonnie and Camille is like, you have to show. So this is really pretty, the stripe. A floral. Yeah, I can't, I cannot wait to make something with this. I will definitely do some type of sew along. Um, we'll definitely do video quilts. We have lots of quilts planned. Um, I'll show you some of them next. Here's the house. And you can see that these really do mix well together. So you could do you could do a quilt with it all together or you could divide it out like they have. And their patterns are written with just their fabric, which is really nice because then it gives a very different look. Stripe. And then here we get into the pretty aqua. The dot. This is probably my favorite. Another stripe. And then we've got some kits. So Lily's going to pop up the two kits that we picked. I'm just pulling up there. So this is the Dwell kit. So this pattern is by Camille and it was my favorite. So I decided that we were gonna kit that. Um, so we're gonna borrow her quilt to photograph. It's really pretty. And then we also are doing the Windflower kit, which is an It's So Emma design. And I believe that is a Jolly Bar kit. So that is how the quilt would look if you combined all the collections and you've combined all the colors. So that's one. The next group in March is Gypsy Soul by Basic Gray. And this one is very, I'm gonna go from the corner on this one, but this is, and I'm not gonna flip through all of it, but this is very different for Basic Gray. Very, very different. Um, it still has the grunge, and it's got some new grunge colors. There's a grunge. But it's very soft and sweet and could be used for a nursery or an adult quilt. So I like the versatility and I like that they have um, done something different. There's another grunge. And the way the grunges work, guys, because I get a lot of questions on this, is with each basic gray collection, they come out with a grunge. And if it sells super good and quilt stores keep ordering it, they keep it in the line. If it's a slow seller, they discontinue it. So it's all based on sales. This is really cool. Um, so that's kind of how the grunges work, whether they get kept in the line or not, it's all just based on sales. And so this one is very different. And we have a quilt kit with this one and we'll pop it up in one second. There's a ghost. There's a ghost. Okay, so let's pop up that kit. It is called Swift and it was designed, I am, Pretty sure it's designed by Crystal Stahl and our It's So Emma team and super cute. I'm not sure what pre-cut that uses, but that's okay. Our next group is called Nancy's Needle by Betsy Chechen. And this is 1800s. Now Betsy is a is a fabric historian, so which is a little bit different than someone who just is into reproduction. She actually looks at the history and all of her fabric is based on historical fabric. This is really pretty, this paisley. So hers has um, some cheddars, which always are good sellers, and some browns, some navies, some reds, some creams. And then she has some pink and purple at the end. And so what I like about this collection is that there are a lot of colors to play with. Sometimes when you get a collection and there's not enough colors, your quilts don't come out as pretty. And we have a quilt kit that we're gonna have on this one. Also, it is called The Knot. And I think that Angel designed this. I'm not 100% sure, but based on my Yes, and it's going to be um, a charm pack pattern. And then our next collection is by Kansas Trouble Quilts, and that is Lynn. And she has been a designer for Moda forever, I've, over 20 years, I believe. And this is called Through the Years. And 
you're gonna see a lot of prints that she has had in the past and so these are all a collection of some of her best sellers and some new ones and she is one of our best-selling designers and what I do like about her collection is that they all work together I remember this print um, they all work together so if you have one collection and you have a new one they're all gonna go together and she always has lots of colors Da, da, da. So I don't know if y'all have any questions on these. Oh, this is really pretty. This is a really nice floral. If y'all have any questions, just ask me throughout. Yes. Uh, we did have a question from Brenda Bea about uh, Bonnie and Camille's fabric. Yes. She says, did Bonnie and Camille release a pattern using the layer cakes of At Home? Okay. Denise is checking for us. So we're looking, but they do have a lot of patterns. So I'm sure there's something. And they have a lot of older patterns that we could use. This next one is Abby Rose, and the designer is Robin Pickens. And I bought this just for Peach. I'm just gonna say that right now. Um, Peach has been begging me to buy her collections. And so here we go. This is Abby Rose. It ships also in March, and it is really fun. And um, I got to meet her, and um, she's really nice. So it's a little bit different for us, but. Yeah, several people have accidentally called this line Abbey Road a few times. Is that a, that's a, the Beatles, right? Yes. Yeah, I have a kid who loves the Beatles. I'm not a Beatle fan. Kevin yeah. says there's something wrong with me, but that's, I'm I, good with that. I feel like you have to find the right song and then it hits you. Yeah, I am, I don't like any of it. <laughs> okay, so that is, I don't know. Let's see, then we have Sunday Picnic. Now this one, I'm gonna first show the collection and then I'll stand up and show the panel. So this one is a little bit different and what I do like about it is it is gender neutral. And this background's awesome. It's like a little flower, you can see. This one is gender neutral and, let's see. I believe we do have one kit with it and this, it comes with a two yard panel to make a picnic basket and the sandwich and the frog and all the things that go with it. But this has lots of colors. Like orange could be for a boy or a girl. And it does have a lot of prints, which I like. This is, I really do like this collection. Really, really like it. And the panel, so I'm gonna show you the panel. It's ginormous. It is a two yard panel. And we have some pictures of it sewn together online, I think. So this is the panel. So it's got the plate, the sandwich meat, the tomato, the basket, the frog, the milk carton, lots of pictures on social media of this made up and it's two yards and it's um, the frog look at the frog he's a little froggy it's cute so i like that that that's different and then um the answer to the question is dwell to that pattern is a layer cake pattern and that's the one that we're kidding so now we're going to move to april so we tried to do this by month um, just so that I wouldn't confuse you because in the past I've confused you. So let me know if you'll have any questions from the previous stuff before I keep going. Yes, um, we had a question from Meg Keeney. Uh, she's asking, when will the fig tree Catalina patterns be in stock? Soon. She always does those first on her site and then ships them to stores two weeks later. So um, as soon as you see them on her site, we should have them right after. And her collection is amazing. Well, I'm going to show it to you in a second. Oh, we had a funny comment from Creations PS91. She says, I would like a caramel frappe venti, please. Good morning, fat quarter shop. I know. I don't even know what a frappuccino is. It's a baby. <laughs> it's Piggy. He Piggy says, is a okay. frappuccino. He says, okay. So this one is Country Christmas by Ann Sutton. And she has a quilt kit it is the pattern is written as a block of the month but she's offering it as a kit that's pre-made from moda so we'll show you that in a second 
but it is a Christmas line and it's um, one of the things about her pattern if you watch our video it explains um, the pattern comes and it shows you all these animals and it's super cute on the quilt but she also has instructions on how if you want to turn those into stuffed animals instead of a quilt so she's got those and it's on it's on our Moda quilt market booth tour So, little snowman heads, those are little snowmen. Stars, trees, little mistletoe. So it's just a red and cream. And so we'll pop up the, the kit real quick. So this is the kit, and so you can see like she's got a bear and a moose and a pig and a truck and mittens and a dog and all the things. And she wanted to make this one a little bit more beginner friendly than her other stuff. So this is going to be her kit. Um, and you can either make it as a quilt or make the individual animals. This next collection is called Geometry. It is by Janet Clare. And it is basically navies and greens, and it matches my apron. So lots of navies, and I can really see this working well with other designers. And it's very geometric, AKA, it's called geometry, so haha, <laughs> a play on words. But it's very um, creamy and green and pretty. This is my favorite print from the whole group. And then our next group I have is Bloomington. Designer Mystery Block One. It is our Designer Mystery Quilt. So I'm gonna actually show you the quilt. We've shown it before, but I'm gonna show it to you again. This one, sorry, the, it's stuck, so you're not gonna be able to see unless I pull this off. So this is Vanessa Gertzen, and she has this wonderful charcoal print. Now we did not put the charcoal in our designer mystery. Our designer mystery is a series where you can order it by the block and just get 12 blocks or you can buy the blocks and the finishing kit and that is for the quilt top. And then we also have a backing set. It's selling great. Um, we sell out of it almost every year and once it's sold out, it's sold out. It's going to start in May of next year. And we're gonna show you the quilt in block one. So Denise just brought it. This is really pretty. A stripe. And this, uh, this is just phenomenal. Oops. And they do have some coated prints. We did not buy the coated prints, but if we get enough requests, um, it just, I don't know if we can carry it because if you bend it, when we ship it, I think it would get bent. So that is Bloomington. This is block one. Denise put this together for us. Do you have the quilt? Um, I can look. We're gonna find the quilt. So look, Peaky, look, he's gonna, oh, is this Denise's? Oh, no. Okay, good. Look, Peaky's gonna have a <laughs> little blankie. He's a little blankie. He says, okay. I Denise like doesn't shirt. like doggies, so. Oh. It's okay, he's gonna have a little blankie now. And then this is Catalina. This is the one. Oh, actually, we have some other pop-ups for Bloomington. So that is Interlace. That is, I believe, our Jolly Bar design. And I don't remember who, de who, who designed it, so sorry for not giving credit. And then we also have another kit that is called A Star is Born. It is from our brand new Charming Babies book. And that is designed by Melissa Corey. And that is fabulous in person. So here's our designer mystery. And my back, I had to do a piece back. And I'm just gonna pick a corner and show you. I can't show you everything because it's a mystery, but there's like a corner. Look, Piggy's like, what you got there? What you got there? So that is designer mystery. And then I would love to answer any questions real quick. Can you zoom out? So yes. <laughs> 
Mm -hmm. um, any questions on designer mystery? Because I saw on on social media we did have a lot of questions, and so I want to be able to answer those. Um, we had a funny comment from Stacy Fallon. She says Bonnie's cottage and Camille's cabin instead of Bonnie's house and Camille's house. Yes. And Kathy Thirsty Brown says, if you love a group of fabrics but not sure what to make, should you purchase a layer cake or a yardage? I would start with a pre-cut. I would either do a layer cake or a fat quarter bundle. All right. Layer cake is my favorite pre-cut of all the pre-cuts. Like if I had to pick any pre-cut, I would rather have a layer cake than a fat quarter bundle. And Becky Lomasny says, are you getting the rayon in Abbey Rose? Yes. Yes. Love rayons. Uh, Angela Stoutenberg says... She you... broke character right there, y'all. I did. I'm sorry. See? <laughs> Uh, Angela Stoutenberg says, Piggy is being so good, maybe you can bring him to work every day? No, Kevin and I would probably get divorced. He, he is being good, though. Um, he's pretty chill. He's a pretty, he's a pretty good dog. Uh, Roxana Owen says, I love what you are giving a sneak peek to. Will you be carrying Creative Grids cutting mats when they are released? Oh, yes. So Creative Grids has brand new mats, and I found out about them at market. They are gray like a gray mat and then the lines are aqua and the reason why is that works really well for the creative grids you can see the black lines on the mat and they're really 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 nice like the thickness um i would never like tell you something that i didn't believe but they are um really um really nice so i'm hoping um to get some for my house too because they're really um Really nice quality, I would say. And um, Jacksby82 says, the country Christmas quilt is applique, right? Yes, it is applique. And it will come um, where you have to do all the applique pieces. It will not be pre-fused. 07 Martina says, when can you sign up for the country Christmas block of the month? So um, I'm not sure if we're pre-selling it or if it's just a coming soon item, but it is on our site right now. A funny comment from Anne Marie Makowski. She says, Piggy in a blanket. Oh, yeah. Look, look Denise, I put Piggy in a blanket when you left. Oh, it's Nova's. Oh, it's Nova's. Oh, Nova has cats. She's good. Um, oh, this shall buy baby. Jay Peterson says, What is coated fabric? Coated fabric is something that you can use um, to make bags with. I just, it comes on these huge tubes. And so if we mailed it, it would crease. So like, that's why we don't stock it. Um, because it would crease and then it wouldn't look good in your project in your bag, but you could use it to make um, shower curtains, bags, that kind of stuff. It's just like a little decorate, decorative. It is not, um, it is not approved for food. food. It didn't, so um, I know that they told me that. So you can't, like I wouldn't use it for lunch bags. It's not that PVC approved, whatever, whatever. So I know that if that makes any sense to you. Uh, Cynthia Fed says, does the Designer Mystery Quilt Kit come with backing and binding? So if you get the finishing kit, you get everything for the top, except for the blocks and the binding, and then the backing is a third option. And Judy Gibbon says, what finish size is the Mystery Quilt? We're gonna look. It's, um. I want to say 70 by 70, something like that, but I think it's 70 by 70. Let's see if I'm right. 70 and a half by 70. 70 and a half by 70 and a half. Ooh. So close. Yeah. Uh, Shulzu Mom says, are you going to carry any of the new Stonehenge lines? No. And uh, Vicky Robles says, hey Kimberly, did you get a job at Starbucks and do you get a really big discount? Yeah, I wish I got a discount. I'm ready to go there. Okay, so now we have Catalina by Joanna, which is fig tree quilts. I'm gonna try to not move since Piggy's chilling in my lap. So this one is really pretty, and there is a thread pack that goes with this from Arafil that I really like. Um, so here we go. This is really pretty, and her booth was spectacular, and she has for this collection, she has more patterns than I think she's ever put together for um, any of her lines before. So really nice and lots of variety. And the one that um, we keep getting the most requests on is the sailboat. We don't have a kit planned with it yet, but we do have some other kits. 
that I'll show you. And this um, print right here, hold on. This one right here with the cherries, that is a reprint from a previous line, obviously in different colors, and it was one of our backings for our designer mystery a couple years ago. So she's got a background, she's got some dots. She has lots of colors in this, but her booth was amazing. I was kind of surprised that she didn't win a booth award. Um, I try to pick uh, Market Does Booth Awards, and I try to, I mean, in my head, I just pick who I think is going to win, and this year it was, um, it was not who I picked. Sometimes it is, and sometimes it's not. I'm not the best. I'm, this is really pretty. It's a little dot. But this line is wonderful. Really nice, and I like that she changed it up a little bit. You know, she stepped out, she did a couple, it's a little bit brighter than most of her lines, and it's good when the designers stay creative and fresh, and I'm sure she's gonna be doing all kinds of stuff with this on her site. She's got some reds, and then she's got some navies that are really nice. The, my very favorite quilt from Olive Market is her flag quilt. I'm going to show you that in a second. Um, I want to make it, and it just uses these these patterns and these colors in the back, which shows you with the collection. Um, by having lots of colors, you can do lots of different things. There's a little dot. There you can see how the size of the pin dot. Sit down. There's the cherry again, and then now we get to the, the blue. It's I wouldn't say it's a navy, it's just, it's beautiful. It is so pretty. And so we actually have three kits together with this one. So we'll pop those up real quick, but look at that, that's so pretty. And again, this is April. So we're going to do the kit. So this is Paper Flowers Quilt Kit. This uses a mix of fat eights and fat quarters. So this is going to be a pattern. I believe Crystal designed this. If she didn't, Jocelyn did. Um, I'm not sure. I'm sorry for not giving credit. And then Stars and Stripes Forever is going to, that is my favorite quilt from all of Market. It is just so pretty in person. It really just, I mean, there it doesn't do it justice, but it really just flows. And the movement of the rows and how they're not lined up and the difference in the stars, it really just in person is beautiful. And then we also have the seesaw quilt, and this is going to be our jolly bar pattern. So with our jolly bars, they're five by 10 and each, in each pattern, you get a free pattern. And so that's the pattern. And then it'll also be a kit. So now we have, oh, do you want to do questions? Yes, we had a super chat come in from Cat Angel 70 for $5, and she says, Happy Halloween, FQS, Kimberly, and Piggy. Thank you. Uh, Piggy says, <laughs> We give both real <laughs> Piggy and super Piggy. Today. Sit down, Piggy. This oh, is what he does at home. Look, his collar matches the cape. The what? His collar? Oh, yeah. Match to the super it's Piggy. A little, it's a little tight, guys. I was like, I'm not sure it was going to go on. He didn't bother me, though. He didn't. He was fine with it. So Look good. at Piggy. All right. And let's see. Stacy Fallon says, could coated fabric be rolled and sent in a tube? It could, but it would cost us a fortune, and we would probably lose money on the whole thing. The tubes are really expensive, so that's why. And Bonita Nance says, are the patterns available separately from the quilt kits you're offering? Yes, except for the Jolly Bars. The Jolly Bar patterns only come in the Jolly Bar. And the, that's why we keep it exclusive. Eventually, we do go back and do a Jolly Bar book. So we'll have our second Jolly Bar book coming up soon. Sit right there. So now we're going to go into May. There you go. This is Jolly Season by Abby Hall. And this one is Kevin's favorite he loves this okay look at the snowman it's got snowman and little reindeer can you see it there we go it's so cute and then snowflakes it's a smaller collection but it is very very well done the colors are really nice that is like so cute
the snowflakes this will be really popular but it's really the colors in this are spot on and Kevin just absolutely loves this one I, I do too super cute so that is May and then we have Midnight Magic by April Rosenthal this was also a favorite on social media and lots of questions on this one and it is awesome it is a great Halloween line and the best thing about it is it doesn't have to be Halloween it could just be black and white and one question one thing that customer service Elva can vouch for is last year we kept getting questions for a spider web they just wanted a spider web print we didn't have one now we have one so that's good because these are little ghosts little ghosties it's, it's just really pretty and then this is really delicious so it's just a really good line and of course Moda is reprinting All Hallows Eve by Fig Tree and I think a combination I think this mixes well with it and this little cats oh my goodness it's really cute and this spider web is really pretty and when you see the quilts and if you go back and watch that Moda booth tour, her booth had a lot of good stuff. It had a little kitty quilt that, that was also very popular on social media. This is a little kitty. So that is, again, April Rosenthal. And we're going to look at this cat. It's so cute. Okay, so we're going to pop up the kit. It, this was probably the most requested thing on social media was are you going to kit this and we are it is a moda kit so it comes pre-packaged i don't know i will be honest and say i don't know anything about the piecing if it i don't know if it uses in a template um i know it's piecing but I, I don't know anything about how it's assembled but what i do know is that the little boo words are applique and they come pre-fused and in a little package so i do know that so that's awesome and then um glad tidings by joe morton is a reproduction-ish, Christmas-ish group. And I think that her yellows in this are gonna be really popular. I'm gonna kind of flip this way. It's got some reds, purples, but this is, look at that, that's really pretty. It makes it very Christmassy and the greens so even if you just did a green and gold quilt, this is one of those collections that the colors are very strong on their own. And this one will have a project sheet available with it, which is a pattern from Moda. We can hear Piggy snoring. Yes, you can, he oh. snores. He did have that surgery though when he was a baby so that he would snore less. But he does snore, and he sleeps right on top of me at night. He does. And Emma gets so mad, and I'm like, well, I feed him, so that's why he likes me best. Mm. And then this next collection is super, I love Sweetwater fabric. It is called the Christmas Card. So there's a lot to this one. This one, um, and I like, I want to show you this. This is very, a great, I, I'm obsessed with white on white, so I don't know if y'all noticed, but... I always notice a white on white, always. It's really, and um, her booth was really cute. She always has cute ideas. And it is really pretty. You can just use the red and white, or the red, white, green, red, white, and black, lots of color options. It says Noel, super cute. And um, her stuff always mixes. This is. A bigger print that would look good on a backing um, it always mixes with the previous year and I, I do like that when designers do that so that if you're ever in the middle of a quilt and you can't get last year's fabric then you can get this year's fabric and one thing I'll tell you guys is I run out of fabric too and when I run out of old fabric I just go to Etsy that's if you can't find it at Etsy when it's old you're not gonna be able to find it that's the only place I kind of go now because I run out of stuff, so 
That's why I gotta finish my Sunday best because I wanna get it done before. So really nice. And this is her panel. She has a couple panels. So this one is really cool. You could either just put some minky on the back or one of her prints on the back and just put binding on it and it could be a quilt. Or you can cut little sections and have pillows or you could put it on the back of a quilt. Um, it could be the back, it could be a panel, it could be a piece backing, it could be all kinds of things. This one is a big, ginormous panel. Let's see, 61 by 72, and it's just one big panel, so that's just an easy cheater quilt. So if you're looking to make something for Christmas, you can just put some minky on the back and find it. This is my favorite out of all of them. This has four panels, so you would cut them apart and either do pillows or little throws. It's really big. And then this is the same as the first one, but in red. And I really like that she's doing something different than other people because I like playing with those panels and they give me a way to do piece backs. So there is, that's all of Moda. So we can, um, I'll answer any questions you have about Moda before I go on to the rest of it. And obviously what I have to show you here is just what people have sent me. So, um, and it's all my favorite stuff, but I still have a lot more and I still have quilts, but I'm happy to answer any questions. Piggy's chilling. Um, we have several people asking when all this fabric is coming out. So um, I went in order March, April, May. March was the very beginning. Then we went to April, then we went to May. All of that is online. So if you have any questions, you can go and then click in the product and it'll tell you the day. And we had a few funny comments uh, from Finding My Way. Uh, she said, he's not a puppuccino, he's a pugachino. Yes, he's a baby. And Terry Lane says, Piggy sounds like he wants to be Darth Vader. Aw, look at him. Do was our Tommy. Cynthia Wilson says, I've got snoring and stereo, Piggy online, and my Boris beside me. Aw, this oh, baby. He says, I want to be petted. And Peach says, trying to focus on the fabric, but also focus on Piggy. The struggle is real. Come on. Come on. And let's see. You can sit over there. Sit down. Uh, Jane Bromley's asking, will you get the new line from me and my sister? Yes. It was a pre-market line, and so I have shown that in a previous video, but yes. We buy all of their collections always, so anything, we will always have it. Sit down. And Garolin62 says, is the Sweetwater a reprint? It looks familiar. No, it's just very similar colors to last year, but all of the prints are new. Sit down. Here you go. Okay, so now we have Ruby Star Society. And um, I'm going to show you the collections that we bought. This one is Clementine and Spark by Melody Miller. It has a ship date of April. Look at that, 1970s milk cartons. And this is very similar to the ironing board cover they have. And this has a touch of metallic. He's gonna fall asleep soon, sitting up, and y'all are gonna witness. He's nodding off. He does. He sleeps sitting up because he can't. He can't miss out. So that is Melody Miller. Our next one is Tiger Fly by Sarah Watts. So there's a lot of panels in here. So this is rayon and it's very soft, has tigers. So there is some rayon in here. All of these tigers are rayon. They're not on cotton. They're only on rayon. And it's, I will say this rayon is fabulous. And this, there are some panels these are butterfly panels i would say they're probably 10 inches or so and it comes in a couple colors there's black aqua 
and their salvages always have their name and quotes and all that jazz. This says, she is fierce and ever-changing. That would be my daughter. I think she's calling me. Okay, this is also a panel. So this panel just goes sideways. It's a 23 inch repeat and it is obviously just big butterflies. It does not have metallic. So on some of these there's metallic, on others there's not. Um, this one is uh, my favorite colorway right here. But oh yeah, this one does have metallic. Yeah, they do have, that one did have metallic, sorry. And so their metallic costs more per yard, obviously, because it's got metallic. And uh, Karen Bain says, what are the rayon panels meant to be used for? They do a lot of clothing. So these are the cotton. They do a lot of clothing. They do a lot of bags. Look at that tiger. Yeah, so um, they do a lot of substrates because they do a lot of sewing. And all of these right here are metallic. It's that metallic is flying off the fabric. You can see it. And then these panels. These are not panels, these are border stripes. So there, it's a border stripe on one side and it goes just a straight yardage and the other side is not a border stripe. So only one side is a border stripe. It comes in these colors, green, white, navy, and gray. So again, that is Tiger Fly by Sarah Watts. And then our last line is Stellar and Zip by Rashida Coleman Hale. And this one is my favorite because it's got a little peach. Who doesn't love a little peach in their life? We all love peach. Don't think that's not a pun. <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to get the angle. There we go. That's a sun. It look from there. It looks like a skull, but it's a sunshine. Mm -hmm. It's the sun, but it's hard to see because it's got. This has a lot of strong metallic, but it's not reading on the camera. Some little rainbows. Another thing that was really popular at market is, and I don't have anything to show you, is Shannon Fabrics had three rainbow prints, and um, that was all the rage. People were talking about that rainbow and. Um, so we're going to be having lots of, we're going to have three rainbow prints from Shannon, which is that minky fabric that goes on the back of your quilts. Um, and it won't be coming out for a while. I don't, I don't know the date, but that was also a hit. And so you can see some have metallic, some don't. And this is canvas. I actually don't remember if we bought this or not. So I have no idea. Um, Pat Bro was asking, will th these be included in the Ruby Star Society Club? Yes. And we always, met, we, Crystal and Nova, they mix the collections together. So yes. And they haven't designed the next one, so I don't think they've picked what's next. So that's Ruby Star Society. We do have a super chat. Oh, super chat! Um, Tracy Hagabama, she, for $1.99, she says, oh my, Piggy is adorable. He's a good boy. A super piggy for you. Thank He's you, Tracy. He's doing so good. Are you doing good? Denise is going to like him by the end of the day. She's like, that dog is good. Um, we have a question from Chrissy Davidson. Getting ready for Farm Girl Vintage 2. Do you know if Lori Holtz pre-starches her fabric? She does not. At all. She does not starch and she does not. He's like, let me get in your lap. He does. She does not starch and she does not um, use steam either. Because it shrinks. So she does not like that. So our next collection is Tula Pink. So she had a schoolhouse. She was the premier schoolhouse, which means the very first schoolhouse, the biggest schoolhouse, you know, the one that the most people go to. It's a big deal. Big deal, yeah. Okay, this is taped, so I can't undo it. So, well, yes, I can. I'm just gonna take this off. Okay. Sorry, it's, ta it's taped, and when I say taped, it's like duct taped on the back. Some crap. So, Piggy, Piggy, no. <laughs> Sit over there. Sit down. Piggy says, Tula looks yummy. Okay, so this is her sewing machine print. 
We bought a ton of this, guys. So, and you can pre-order it. This is a tape measure. Tape measure. Her three backing prints have tape measures on them and it's a larger scale. So this is her rotary cutters and all of the information on how her design process, all of that, like these are rotary, this is scissors, thimbles, is in that video. There's um, safety, safety pins. pins. I need to pack those for tomorrow. Safety yeah. pins. Teresa says, give the tula to Lily. Oh, that's no. hilarious. Not yet. Not yet. I think we have to scan it. This is her ruler. So it's everything she did is based on real notions that she sells. Okay, here's another sewing machine. So the sewing machine's probably three or four inches. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Sit. These are her actual hands or her mother's hands, both. So this was the big hit, I will tell you. This was the big, the big buzz, you know. The ones all the other companies were talking about. There we go. So that's Tula. I'm gonna show you her wide prints. Piggy, sit down. This is her wide prints. It delivers in March. These are her wide prints right here. So this is why I brought this. These are her wide prints. So you can see that it is a larger scale than the other, but it is a measuring tape. And this is a spool quilt kit. And we will have this and a backing set available also. So that is all Tula Pink. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go a little faster because I'm running out of time. This is one of my favorites. This is Prim by Lori Holt. So this is going to be a sew along right here. And so with her sew alongs, it is a free pattern. We will have quilt kits available and she will have her applique so simple shapes to go with it. This is her collection. We do have a solid bundle already to go with it. This right here. Okay, do you wanna get somebody to get Piggy? Cause he's gonna drive me crazy. This one is an all over print that you can use as a backing. These are her so simple shapes. These are her solids. These are some basics that she's bringing in new to go with it. This one ships in July. This is, I think he's fine. This is Quilter's Cottage. This is a book by It's So Emma that we're publishing for Lori. It is all 100% pieced. It is based on her cross stitch pattern. So we turned it into a quilt and it will be, the fabric is shipping in December, but the kit will not be available until March or April because we have to wait for um, the patterns to be written. This is Tranquility by Jerry Robinson, blue super pretty and i showed this in the booth and one thing to note is this bottom piece is a panel so it is a panel that is applique but you don't have to applique you can just put it in your quilt and people can think you applique that is may santa claus lane by melissa mortensen may 2020 tell me that's not cute santa santa Lots of Santa. This is my favorite. Fisher Price. This was one of my very favorite collections from Market. Tell me this does not bring you back. I had the little pop pop. Pop pop pop. And we're putting together a cute little kit with it using an It's So Emma pattern. It's so cute. So this is one of my favorites from Market. And a lot of people loved it on social media. This is Christmas Traditions by Danny, May 2020. This is Heather Peterson Mold. Heather Peterson, she used to be designer with Henry Glass. Now she has moved to Riley Blake 
and her very first collection with Riley Blake sold phenomenal. Like, phenomenal. Okay, a lot of love for this, guys. Barbie. They made the original Barbie. So they went back and the whole idea with this is the very, very original Barbie. So all of these are authentic, original Barbies. Barbie. Snow Sweet by Janet Weckerfrisch. This is going to be a sew along that she hosts. And she always has lots of panels. So she's got a panel here. This one right here is felt pieces. So they're gonna be pre-cut. Got some other panels, super cute. And then Sandy Gervais, give thanks. She was a Moda designer for a long time, and now she's with Riley Blake. There's that, and this is a beautiful panel. It's a panel. The inside is a panel. If for um, Henry Glass, this is Kim Deal, October morning. And so all these papers you see, this is how we buy fabric. This is how the sales reps come in and they show it to us and we decide what we want to do. So that's kind of a little sneak peek. That is April. This is Holiday Heartland by Jan Shea Beach, May 2020. And she is the original designer who came out with these trucks and the gray and the red look that everyone else has done since then. It just goes on and on, see? And this is how we buy fabric right here. <laughs> Put little post-it notes. And then Annie Downs, her stuff always sells crazy good for us. And people, for some reason, buy her fabrics in big chunks. So they will just go and buy and then they buy all of it. Um, hers ships on May 2020. I don't think we both bought this panel because these type of panels don't sell well, but we bought the rest. And then Jan Shade Beach said the tradition continues, so she just took some of her older prints and added them. So that's what we have. So let me know if y'all have any questions on any of the collections that I just showed you. And then I'm gonna show you quilts we're working on, other stuff that we're working on. And Piggy's gonna hopefully be good. I'm just going to take one question here from Terry Lane and she says, was, Kim was Kimberly a Barbie girl? Mm, yeah, but I got in a lot of trouble. Okay, so my, my uncle, I always have to tell these stories. My uncle was basically my brother's age. So like think, my uncle's like six years older than me. He had like, he was like 18. No, maybe he's 10 years. I was like eight. He was like 18. He had this girlfriend. Her name was, I can't even remember her name. I loved her. She's been to all the funerals in my family, even though she's not part of the family. He didn't marry her. Her name was Jolene. Jolene had beautiful, curly, short hair. So I cut my Barbie's hair and I think my mom about killed me. <laughs> So yeah, I used to do the same. Yeah, so it was Jolene. And so when I would see her like at my dad's funeral, all the funerals, like I would be like, oh, there's the lady who got me in trouble with the Barbie. Oh. Anyway. And one more question from Laura Whitfield. Did you buy the new Sherry and Chelsea fabric? Oh, of course. That is a pre-market collection. And so um, the designers for Moda go. And um, if it's a pre-market collection, they also go. And yes, we bought it and we showed it in a previous live stream. It is our charity quilt for next year. So yes, it is our Bloomington that we're raising money for Make-A-Wish, so yes. So Sunday Best is a sew along based on the book by Sherry McConnell, Corey Yoder. They are doing this, all you need is the book. And this is my block for the week. Hopefully it doesn't have any mistakes. I am going to take this quilt and finish it on Monday. So um, that is going to be my big finish for the week. And everything is available on their blog. So you would just go to Sherry and Chelsea. I use 29067 colors 41 and 33 for my, for my white and my gray. And I just used a scrap of all of her, all of her, all of Corey's fabrics from way back. We also have a sew along going on with, with Lori Holt. Farm Girl Vintage 2 is her brand new book. And on the cover, you see that she has mixed 12 inch blocks with six inch blocks. Everything is on our blog. We posted it on Monday and on Lori Holt's blog. 
it starts tomorrow. And the hashtag is Farm Girl Fridays. And these are the first two blocks. Teresa, who works for us, made these. This is the pie block. And the pumpkin block. So we hope that you guys sew along with us on that. And perfect 10. We're having this sew along right now. I've shown my quilt in the past. Here are the blocks from our staff. Do you want to zoom in? Because it's kind of messy. I got too much stuff yes, going on. I believe it's perfect five. We might have pulled the wrong book. We did pull the wrong book. It's perfect five instead of perfect 10. So ignore the book. <laughs> so this is by Cheryl. This is Sugar Creek, Cory Yoder. This is Angels, Shepherd Carney, French General. I know I said it wrong. Mm -hmm. This is Finnegan, Nancy, and the designer is Brenda Riddle. This is Harper's Garden Collection by Sherry. And Sue sewed this. And these two are made by Terry and the fabric is Joe Morton fabric. Shelbyville. So those are, that is a current sew along and you can follow along with us on our blog. Ta-da! And we did have a few questions here. Uh, Lori Taylor was asking, when are Lori Holt's canvas bags doing? They are doing, uh, we got that answer yesterday. Um, they're running late, so it would either be late November or early December. There was an issue with the printing. They didn't come out as perfect as they wanted to begin with, so they're redoing them. Um, Teresa was asking, does Denise make quilts? Yes, she's made lots of quilts. And we show them. We showed two last week. Yes. And, uh, funny comment from Barbara Muncie on Facebook. She says, I tried to dye my Bobby's hair with red nail polish. Well, I was six. That's funny. That's hilarious. <laughs> that sounds like something my daughter would do. So now we're just going to show some quilts. So first, I want to see who can guess what they think Lily's dressed up as. Because Lily is going to come over here and show all the quilts since I'm going to just chill with Piggy. I will say we had a lot of good guesses, um, but the majority has one on this one. The what? Most people guessed correctly. Oh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get it at all. Thank you, dear. Oh my goodness. Denise made sure I did not forget my umbrella. Okay, so I'm gonna go over here, so I can be out of the way. Good morning, everyone. Oh dear. Yeah. Just my happy time. Good morning, Piggy. He likes Lily. Hello. Oh, darling, Piggy. Oh, you better get off the hook. Is that a, did you make it? Yes. Yeah, so. It's a wedding dress. Yeah, so I'm Mary Poppins. Um, for those of you who might not have seen the movie. Like me? Um, yes, this is her uh, Jolly Holiday dress. And I, I do apologize if the accent is a bit butchered. Uh, I have been trying to work on it this week. Uh, but yes, apologies. Don't mean to offend anyone, just for fun. Um, but yeah, it's a wedding dress. I found it at a thrift shop. So it was a long wedding dress with a tail and I converted it into all this. You did? Yes, and then I bought How the umbrella. How many hours did it take you? Oh, uh, about 20 some hours total, about. It was quicker than last year's. And sh we have a contest in the warehouse of everyone, like they can dress up. And Elva came by my, okay, so hi Elva. She came oh, yeah. by my office and she smiled at me, but I don't know what she was, so I didn't want to say anything. Oh, I haven't seen her this morning. Oh, she's fancy, but I don't know what she, I, like, I have no idea. So they want Piggy to go out there, so I'm going to let her take Piggy for the contest, but I don't know what, I, I feel like an idiot. I don't know what the people are. <laughs> Do you know what Elva is? There's I a lot know. of pop culture references, I will say that. Yes, and I'm a little old. Yes, but yes, you wanted to show quilts? Yes. That's so the first one is a Jolly Bar quilt. It is, this is my first time doing this, so I do apologize if it's a bit muddled. So this is the Jolly, this is the Jolly Bar pattern. Do you want to read what's in the top right of the? Yes. Uh, yeah, there you this go. This is Somersault Scarlet and Sage Jolly Bar. 
designed by Krista, made by Angel, quilted by Mike. And Mike is mylongarm.com. And so that is a brand new kit. And we have the Jolly Bar, which is right here. And that pattern is only available in the Jolly Bar. It comes on the back. So there's the first quilt. Beautiful camera work, Denise. Oh, I've lost my hat. Sit down. You don't need to see the, there you go. There you go. Okay, we'll just toss them. Yeah, just toss them. All right. And this second one is called Swan Dive, mm -hmm. also with Scarlet and Sage. It was designed by Jocelyn, made by Denise. There you are. See, you Denise curious. made a quilt. She always um, makes the hard ones. She always gets stuck with the hard ones. I'm going to give her that. Quilted by Gina. And Gina is Thread Graffiti. And you can find her everywhere on our site. Um, but a lot of people have been sending quilts to her and really happy with her so that's awesome and that is a free pattern guys and a free video so if you want to see tips and tricks on how to make that just check out our video and download the free pattern our next one is we took the cream and sugar book this quilt was designed by sarah price she is it's so emma and um this is using andover's fabric uh sonoma by Aditta Sitar, and we really like to always show you what else you can do with it. So we colored this in new Lisa Bonjean fabric. Yes, uh, Urban Farmhouse Gatherings, uh, made by Teresa, quilted by Mike. Yes. So These are heavy. Oh yes, that's why I like Skylar <laughs> in here. Yeah, this is heavy, and that's why I'm always out of breath. Props to you, Skylar, this is very difficult. Yeah, and you're a lot shorter. <laughs> I am smaller than Skylar. I wonder if he dressed oh. up. And then um, the next one. Ooh, sorry, was it this one? No. The next one is called Sandpiper. It is this, the design was designed by Crystal Stahl, and she is on our It's So Emma team. And this is the same fabric collection. And so this is available as a paper pattern, PDF pattern, and also. <laughs> Uh, oh, piggy dog. Piggy stop. As a kit. And made by Terry, quilted by Gina. And then our very last thing is. I know it. This is called. Oh my god. That's right. Okay, so Lily made it, right? You did make it. Yeah, and we are doing a big. What do you call it? Giveaway something something. We're gonna pick a winner if you do the hashtag FQS pick a pumpkin. And we're encouraging you to use this free pattern and uh, show us your pumpkins. Show us your seasonal gourds. And then let me see my little you my little crochet. Look, I got the sixth one. So Pam uh, Donaldson made these for me, and they're in my house. And I oh did I did I bring the picture? Okay, good. Okay, we're going to show the picture in a second, but she sent me a six one for, because I only have five. Oh, they're so cute. I'm going to leave them up. Like, I, I'll, everyone after, I've noticed online, all my friends and stuff are putting like, oh, we're going to start decorating for Christmas, like the day after Halloween. I'm like, I'm lucky if I do that by December 5th. So I'm keeping this out until December. Comment I love it. below if you are a fan of candy corn or not. Yes. I love me some candy corn. Is that your room? No, it's a wig. It is? Yes, it, it's rather heavy. It's got a bun at the top. Yes, it, it's... Um, People were <laughs> On it? Amazon, it's the nanny wig. How's your hair under there? It's, uh, you put a little wig cap on oh and it flattens gosh. everything. Oh my goodness. Yes, my hair's also short, so it was quite easy. It's not easy. that short though. It's not, but thank you everyone. <laughs> See, this is the Kimberly dress up. It took me five minutes because I have connections. Gabriel and Cody made my thing. And Lily took 20 hours. And I bought this on Amazon. So you can see how much effort. Come here, Peeks. Oh, Elva is thing two. Thing two. From um, Cat in the Hat, Dr. Seuss. Thing one and thing two. Yeah. Sit down. He's like, I'm done with this place. No, he wants to go. He wants to go play. He's going to go to the warehouse and be in the contest yes. and play. Yes. Oh, for the, uh, which was it the image? Yes. Oh, yeah, we're going to do like pop ups, right? Yes. I apologize if I get this incorrect at first. Wait. Do um, some piggy. Yes. Is it for Sit down. Pump Sit down. It 
we don't have the pumpkins, we'll show it next week. But I took a picture in my sewing room of the five pumpkins, how I have it all yes. decorated. So we can do shout outs, it. though. We can go through the shout outs. Yes. Where did I put mine? Oh, almost shout outs. There they are. Look, she should do the hashtag. So this is, I, let's see, Maylin76, I finished my pumpkin quilt just in time for fall. And this is the Cluck Cluck Sew pattern. And then this is Oh My Gourd by Mikey Fan, set 55. And again, this is a free pattern. And the one here, I believe Lily made. Oh, that's cute. This is Monica Kostkak, a farm style color pillow was on my bucket list that's super cute and this is the pumpkin trio that someone was asking about um, earlier we are going to have this as a kit i'm going to make the sample and um, it is designed by fig tree joanna figueroa and this is another oh my gourd so all these people are going to be um, adding the hashtag so they can be entered into our giveaway And then this is another pumpkin trio. And this mm -hmm. is, let's see, Sarah Shear. And this is the same quilt, same cluck cluck sew. So that's awesome. And look at the little baby. It's a little baby. Oh, this is super cute. This is Shell Pam So I finally got all the pumpkin blocks finished and the Hocus Pocus quilt. It has been more challenging than I expected. Super cute. And this is another Oh My Gourd by Sherry LT59. And she's entering the, look, she's got her hashtag FQS Pick a Pumpkin. And we've got another one, the Academic Stitcher. She is like, let me tell you, Academic Stitcher, she is all stitching a lot of stuff all the time. She's very prolific. And then we've got Candy Cotton Carpenter, super cute. And she's using the, the um, method that Gina showed on how to uh, long arm quilt on our beginner series. And this is Cheryl Thompson, and she's also FQS Pick a Pumpkin. And this is also the same Cluck Cluck Sew pattern. So you can see that just picking different fabrics, different backgrounds, you get a totally different look. Cindy Dickinson, that's super cute. That looks appliqued. I think that's, yep, that's laundry basket quilts pattern. And we're back to the beginning. Um, I do have the image we were looking for. Yay! Wait, it's here, I swear. <laughs> Did it not load? Give me one second. She's going to find it. Yes. Yeah. I knew what I did. So I'll tell y'all another funny story because I like to tell my little funny story. So I have a son who he likes to challenge things. It is cold here. It is 37 degrees when I went to school today. Took them to school. He wore straight up basketball shorts and a t-shirt. No jacket. No nothing. We could not convince him. Kevin could not convince him. I am expecting the principal from the school to call and say, what is wrong with you, horrible parents? He got out of the car and all his, I know why he did it. As soon as he got out of the car, they were like, you're crazy, Peyton. He was like, I got this because he wants to be cool. And I was like, that's why he did it. So he could like prove. I was like, you're going to get sick. And we had gone. I took them yesterday. I picked them up from school yesterday and I took them because their jackets from last year were too, like the arms were too short. So they got just, um, not too thick of jackets, but just like a jacket that works good for um, school, for playground. They want one where they can like run around. It's not too heavy. So everybody got one but Peyton. And um, yeah, I, but I really do think that they're going to call. And so I'm thinking about emailing a teacher and just saying, hey, we're trying to get him to wear some decent. Yeah, that's my funny story for today. There it is. There's my pumpkins. So look, Pam Donaldson, I'm gonna take it home and look, this is where little pumpkin's gonna go. Or my candy corn. Candy corn. But see, I have the pumpkins, the candy corns. It was so cute. My little, um, that's got all my DMC floss and my cross stitch stuff. And I copied that straight up from Lori. And on the top, that is my little table runner that I made and showed on the live stream. And that is using Lori Holt's crazy paper. And I cut those down um, to a smaller size. So they look a little bit different. See, yeah. 
Awesome. So guys, have a happy Halloween. Get some candy for me, and um, I will see you guys next week. Bye, everyone. Thank mm -hmm. you.